t-shirts and things like that are branded with the official Warlock sigil designed by Magister Dr. Robert Johnson. It is the only place where you can buy official Warlock. The Jimmy Psycho Experiment. Our good friend and fellow Legionnaire, Jimmy Psycho, is at it again for the holiday season. If you are looking for some swanky holiday tunes, pick up Ho Ho Ho by the Jimmy Psycho Experiment. 13 classic holiday tunes played in that easy listening Psycho Lounge vibe. Preview and purchase at jimmypsycho.bandzoogle.com slash ho dash ho dash ho. Ya ho. <laughs> Bunch of hoes. <laughs> and last but certainly not least, this episode is brought to you by We Are Satanists, the history and future of the Church of Satan by Honorary Legionnaire and Magistra Templi Rex of the Church of Satan, Blanche Barton. We Are Satanists is a comprehensive and exhaustive guide to the history of the Church of Satan from its founding, through her taking the reins as the High Priestess, to the current High Priest and High Priestess, Magus Peter H. Gilmore and Magistra Peggy Nadramia. It includes huge sections about not only what happened in the Church of Satan throughout history, but also what is happening right now within the ranks of the Infernal Empire. It's also a giant brick you could probably defend yourself quite well with. Yes, so make you sure can. that you pick up We Are Satanists, available at satanme.com. And I think that's it. everybody. No, we got one more. Do we have one more? Yes. Well, who is that? Radio Free Satan. <laughs> hey, you know, honestly, I, I, I remember at this point, but I, I like the gag, so I just keep Yeah, it. I know. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, I just wanted to make sure that they get a shout out because, you know, hey, they host us, and I do the Metro, which I hit big 600 on. Um, of course, Reverend or uh, Reverend Bill M and stuff like that. So we we'll just want to make sure they get the a little plug in there too. So radio, radio, free Satan. Yep. <laughs> yes, Radio Free Satan is the uh, the longest running uh, internet radio station within the the greater satanic milieu. It's been going for a long time, and. Uh, there are just numerous podcasts available from uh, from shows that don't even get updated anymore that you can listen to back episodes of all the way up to some of the best music and comedy clips. Um, we've got uh, uh, podcasts for classical music, for goth industrial, for punk. We've got commentary shows like this one. Radio Free Satan is the media arm of the Church of Satan mm-hmm. for, uh, in, a, in a large way, and it's a fantastic organization, and we wouldn't be able to do this if it wasn't for them. So thank you to Radio Free Satan. And for those of you who are listening to this on another platform than Radio Free Satan, you can visit RadioFreeSatan.com to listen to all these amazing podcasts. I think that covers it, right?
şey yapacağız. Evet, kutunun içinden bir tane şöyle bir kullanma kılavuzu çıkıyor. Şöyle. Fatura. Bir tane tabancanın şu kumdağına takabilmek için şey çıkıyor. Evet. Genişletmek için, büyütmek için. Bir tane de lanetmiş çıkıyor. Evet, bir tane şarjör çıkıyor. Evet, şarjör çıkıyor. Evet, şimdi tabancanın şakırıp takımın şeyini verelim. İlk önce şarjörü çıkarıyoruz. Sonra mekanizmanı geri atlıyoruz. Şuradaki şeyleri ikisine de bastırıyoruz. Evet, şöyle. Hopopla evet. şuradan ayarlanıyor. Evet, şuradan hopop ayarlanıyor. Şurada kurma var. İsterseniz buraya bir tut takabiliyorsunuz şuradan çıkartıp yani ray değil de yani şuradan çıkartabiliyorsunuz şuradan şöyle çıkartabiliyorsunuz ve tut takabiliyorsunuz ee, bu kadar takma işlemi de şu şekilde ilk önce raya geçiriyorsunuz Son şu ikisini ön aşağı çekiyorsunuz. Şu şekilde vermiyorsunuz. Şu anda vermedi. Neyse video buraya kadar da. İzlediğiniz için teşekkür ederim. Görüşürüz.
We cannot trust at this point. Things even less pleasant, the faster I tried to run, the slower my legs would go. It was like trying to sprint underwater. My legs grew heavier and just before capture, I awoke in a cold sweat. My right alert demands an alert state of mind. The want of sleep was a threat to my job security, leading my boss whether I held a second job. He felt I was sleepwalking through the days. I decided to end this dream. Madness. The next time the stranger pursued me in the dream state, I become- I'm gonna turn around and demand, what do you want from me? After all, the living actor- Master has emphasized hope. Hope is not one thing. Learn from dreams. Dreams are not always true. Confronted in a dream situation, you must face to face is better than running from it. Dreams are not always true. Dreams are not always true. Confronted in a dream situation, face to face is better than running from it. I lay in bed, ready for action. I repeat it to myself. Tonight, I am going to confront- Dr. Man, wait for the night. Man, wait for- Tonight, I am going to ask him what he wants from me. Eventually, I slipped into repose. In no time, I'm being refreshed for a few nights rest, but without the recall of a single dream. It was a better day at work than usual. That night, I repeated my inner directive to confront the man in my dreams. Again, nothing came of it. Was this good? Was getting rid of one silly nightmare worth wiping out all of my other dreams? My boss didn't care. He was happy to have his employee back full time. The third night, I repeated the postulate, but I felt more detached. All of a sudden, I woke up in the dream state, flipping through albums in a record store. My search was for one particular... What did it look like? No idea. However, I had every confidence of recognizing it once my fingers touched it. Now to give up on me if I spotted the desired album on a wall rack. It must look at yourself. The cover was an actual mirror. And it was a strange feeling to see my reflection staring back at me. A very sad face indeed. The reflection held yet another image. You'll never amount to anything. It was the awful man with the knife. I took off at a fast run out of the store, then on through the mall. The familiar footsteps on my trail. The faster I tried to run, the slower my legs would turn. I resolved to confront this mysterious stranger. So I stopped dead in my tracks and spun around. What do you want from me? I demanded. Thank 